play a video of a wife complaining. I'm going to let her tell you why she complained. Now, first I felt sorry for her. Then I kept listening on. But we'll do that after y'all hear why she complaining. Now, she finna complain for a whole three minutes. So y'all listen to every word. Y'all comment on what y'all think. Because y'all watch the video to the end. Because I'm going to go in on what I think. You understand? Let's get it. I tried to fix it after three days with my husband. And he's just like, no, you can't, you know? Like, I'm done with you. And today he keeps reiterating, like, through text message, like, we can be brother and sister in Christ. Sorry, this couldn't work out. So I um, came to live with my family, but they're hopping from place to place because they don't have a place. Seven days here. Seven days there. It's the hardest situation. I'm about to go through a divorce. My husband not being there for me, and he knows the situation my family's in. Which is one argument that we had before I left the house because he said if your family loses their house, then then they can stay here. But once it happened, I asked him, and he said no. Now I'm in this situation with them because he doesn't want me back. I don't know. I just got a new job. And he said he's done helping me. He's done paying my bills on March 15th. So it's like helping my family, trying to pay my bills, not having a house, moving every freaking seven to 14 days from place to place with the company my mom works for because it's like they have vacation houses, but it's just the most humiliating, degrading, low position ever. And just to know that like I'm married and like my husband just doesn't care and isn't helping. Doesn't want me. Like I, le I left the house because you threatened to call the cops on me when I wasn't even yelling at you. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of struggle and pain. Now, see, at first I was like, damn, man, she really loved her husband and she really there for her husband. And you never know when somebody changed their mind about you. You know, a woman or a man can change their mind about you six months before they break up with you. Especially in a marriage. I was just telling one of my homeboys, just because you married somebody don't mean that's the person for you. People make mistakes every day, and that's one of the biggest mistakes that's made in the world is the person that you married. God didn't send you this person. People marry for military reasons. People marry for financial purposes, which lead me to what I think she done. What I noticed in the video, she was crying. Then she went from crying. It wasn't about the kids. It wasn't about him. It wasn't about his family. It was about now she don't have the house. Say he's going to cut off paying her bills and all the bills in a month or two. That means she's a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home wife or she work and get to keep her money. And you ladies so against the Cheesecake Factory and the Shake Shack 
Y'all so against uh, going 50-50 with a man. Listen, let me tell you what Michael Jordan said. He rich as fuck. Michael Jordan stopped taking out his family out to eat. Because every fucking time they went out to eat, they'll slide him the bill. Even a rich man want to be catered to sometimes. Tick from tack. So if this man paying the bill, have you ever thought about running this bath water? Have you ever thought about paying the lights this month? Have you ever thought about putting some in? Now for all the dumbass women, I know so many dumbass women that do this. When he giving you money for your nails and your hair and he's giving you money for cars and vacations, you bitches are actually getting your nails done. You getting your hair done. You actually going on vacation for real. Real bitches going to stack that money up for when this nigga want to change on you. You got a hundred thousand put up and you can go on with your motherfucking life. I know so many bitches on their second divorce, they first divorce, they third divorce, they fifth baby daddy, and they broke as shit. Don't got nowhere to stay, sleeping on somebody's couch. Ain't got no car to drive. If they got a car, it's a fucking lemon. Or if they got a house, it's goddamn free. They staying in the projects. I'm talking about for real. This is real shit. Why would you ladies get with a nigga or marry a nigga for financial purposes and think it's going to last whenever the divorce rate is high? People don't even think farther than tomorrow, much less years down the line. I'm going to think... If I marry this girl, how I'm going to feel in 10 years? Let me see. Hold on. Hey, Siri. What is the percentage of people that get divorced? In the United States, about 50% of married couples divorce. The sixth highest divorce rate in the world. It's the sixth. It's the sixth highest population in the world. In the U.S., 50%. That means if 100,000 people get married, 50,000 is going to divorce. So you going to solely depend on a man. Listen, ladies. If you do go into a relationship, while he's out getting the money, don't be a fool. Go out and get a degree. While he's out going to get the money, don't be a fool. Go out and get your nail license or your, or your certifications and Go out and start you a business and an online business and get your cloud up online and, and, and get you a storefront and do things that can secure you and your kids' future because you can't depend on a man just like you can't depend on a woman. A man is not going to support you forever. Sometimes people wake up and wake up. Don't let that go over your head. Sometimes that woman that you're beating on, wake up. And decide she's done getting beaten on. Sometimes that man that you using. Wake up and decide. That he's done being used. Now if I'm wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Feel sorry for her. Or I'm taking it the wrong way. But I'm just telling you how I'm perceiving it. So I just say this. I know too many beautiful women. That's now broke as fuck. Some of them are homeless. Like as you see in the title. Like, you're a homeless. I don't care if you stand with your parents. I don't care. If you're a grown woman with kids and you stand with your grandma, aunt, or parents, or any other sort, then you are a homeless, man. I'm not lying to you. And this come from failed marriages. You would be surprised how many women on their second and third marriage, man. No guy is going to keep being used. And ladies, no matter how much you like it or don't like it, no man is going to keep paying for everything, even not a rich nigga. I'm talking about for real. I got plenty of money, but I tell a bitch, quit. Shit, I bought the last two meals. It's your turn. If she ain't trying to do her turn, then she can go ahead and do a U-turn. That's for real. So I just had to give y'all a real game and let you know how I feel about the situation. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. And Thanks for all the love, because y'all is running my channel stupid. I thank all y'all for all the love. I'm going to try to throw out a couple of shout-outs. Um, 
Man, I be having so much shit going on, man. Hold up. All right, uh, let me let me try to give out a couple of shout outs. I had promised a couple of people I was gonna shout them out. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the love. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Like I said, y'all, I'm not gonna shout out anybody that I don't see consistently. So I'm going through hundreds of names now, but I'm just trying to see people that I see constantly um, commenting on my content. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was somebody that I really wanted to shout out for real. Though. And I'm looking, y'all. All right. Shine Telemunda. Shine Telemunda. Shouts out to him. He been showing a lot of love. Shouts out to Kenny. Kenny been showing a lot of love. Y'all go follow him. Shouts out to Tim Godspeed. He been showing a lot of love. Um, yeah, Tim Godspeed. I'm seeing you a lot. Y'all go follow him. Johnny Tippins, 2011. Y'all go follow him. I'm seeing him a lot. Um, fourth, the greatest. Actually, and it's a that revenge. That's that put in work. I like your comment, brother. And actually, I'm the third, my son, the fourth. So I like the way you, your name is the fourth, the greatest. I like that. That's hard. That's hard. And everybody I'm mentioning, if I mention you on the video, you are not part of the family. Lil Virgo for show. Sure. Lil Virgo been showing love like a motherfucker. Uh, Larry Raglan. Uh, shouts out to you, fam. Once again, my guy Shatella Munda. If I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. Uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Uh, I can't shout out my boy Jeffrey no more. He he always gonna come in. Tina, shouts out to Tina. Uh, the Tesla, Ty Five Hundred. He always gonna show love. Uh, I shot them out every damn video if I had a chance to, cause they always gonna show love. Dortez, shouts out to you. Um, man, I keep seeing a lot of little Virgo. I'm telling you, man, y'all are really supporting me. Y'all really family. Everybody I've mentioned is really family. Salute to each and every one of y'all. And everybody come in and let me know what y'all think. Y'all feel sorry for this married woman? Uh, do y'all feel like she should have been smarter and not been a dumb bitch? What you think? What you think? Let me know.